All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the top five reasons why planes crash in general aviation. So I was reading that plane and pi pilot magazine. I don't know if you guys read that, but they had a uh, AOPA research and NTSB, and they kind of put together all the accidents. This is from 2018 statistics because NTSB does take a while to be current. Um, but loss of control on landing, um, mechanical power plant stalls during landing. These are all kind of the most common so we're going to go over some of them so number five is mechanical and of mechanical problems that happen with aircraft the most common is engine problems engine failure so here is a number two engine failure of a dc3 that recently happened and these engine problems are greater than 60 percent of mechanical issues and believe it or not many of the engine problems and failures that happen are actually shortly after maintenance so regular oral oil changes, oil analysis can help, and then also getting a trusted mechanic. But luckily, with all the mechanical failures that happen in plane crashes, only 6% were fatal. So number four, you're coming into weather. So weather is, um, it's been down 65% in the last decade, but they're the ones that are always in the news, like this one, this recent uh, helicopter crash. You can see it was a very foggy day. Um, but there's better apps now and wet weather reporting tools than before. Um, but the main threat with these is VFR into IMC, which is 60% of weather accidents. So number three here we're looking at is going into terrain or wires. So here's an aircraft that got hung up on the wires. And many times I feel like the planes that hit wires are the ones that live. They get hung up like this, but they don't crash into the ground. The wires actually seem to save their lives. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but you can put it in the comments below. But this is definitely one of the main um, main ones that happen that causes uh, death. So this one was um, a famous singer, and then her plane hit uh, some power lines and then came crashing down. Um, so sad, um, sad news here. But um, yeah, low level maneuvering. And it's down 50% in the past five years. But over half of those in, um, accidents involve wires or terrain. So you can see here uh, the graph for fatal accidents, VFR into IMC. So those who aren't familiar, VFR into IMC is basically the visual flight rules. It's basically when you're flying, you take off and the weather's fine. And then while you're flying, the weather gets bad and they crash because they can't see or they're not, they don't have the right type of tools to help them. Um, or knowledge to get them back to the ground safely. But that one is one of the big ones. Also stalls during takeoff. Another big one for fatal accidents. And then stalls during descent or approach also. So number two here is takeoff accidents. So takeoff accidents, they're three times less common than landing accidents. Um, but landing accidents are a lot more fatal. I mean, I'm sorry, but takeoff take off are a lot more fatal. Um, so three times less common, but these are the most dangerous. Yeah, most of the time when bad things happen, as you can see, um, it happens um, during the takeoff. And then number one is landing. So number one is landing accidents, loss of control, runway excursions, ground loops are, a, are real common, stalls, and then hard landings. And a lot of these things um, can be practiced. Um, so you want to kind of correct it. Uh, NTSB says to practice slow flying, consistent, uh, having consistent airspeed, know when to go around and fry, fly frequently, especially with tailwheel aircraft. And then here's the statistics here. So based off of these uh charts i mean thanks thanks john zimmerman for putting this together his article that i read um pilot error 65.5 percent so even though people blame different aircraft a lot of times it's still coming down to the pilot causing the accident and then pilot related accident types landing almost half of them are when the aircraft is landing um they are survivable um, landing aircraft 
And then 68% of accidents are single engine fixed gear aircraft. So looking at all this uh, statistics and stuff, the main thing I want to take away is how do we fix it? And that's basically practicing takeoff, practicing approach, um, getting good at landing, um, touch and go, slow flight recommended. Um, try to avoid long layoffs and gusty uh, side winds. And if you miss this aircraft, you can see I'll put the video here. But um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys got something out of this. Please comment below if you have anything to add. I'm Keone. See you guys next time.